Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable and disable fog so it's only in a certain area. So for example, if you're in a house, you don't want to be having fog, but when you leave the house, you do want the fog. So I'll show you how to do that now, and it's going to look something like this. So when I'm in this area, we have it normal, there's no fog, and then when we go into this certain area over here, it's going to fade in and transition to the fog being there, and then when we leave this area, it's going to transition out as well. So it's not just going to sharply cut to there being fog and there not being fog, it will very smoothly transition between the two. And you can also have it so when we're in this area, we have fog, and that area, we don't. You just switch the values around. So I'll show you how to do that now. So our first step is to actually create the fog that we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the exponential height fog, but you can use whatever you like. So you can just drag and drop that in the scene here. It's under visual effects, or you can search for it up here, drag it in, and I'm just going to be changing these settings here. So I'm just mainly going to be putting these all up to max pretty much just to really show off that we have fog there just to make it very obvious. But then the important one is the start distance down here. What I want to do is as I want this area to not have fog by default, I'm going to put this to 5000. So as you can see, we don't have fog. If you want there to be fog, leave it at zero. But for me, I'm putting it to 5000 so there's no fog here. And we're doing this as this is how we smoothly transition. So once you've essentially set up your fog, so you have all the settings you like, and then put the start distance to 5000, that's good. So we're going to have that like so. Then next, what we want to do is actually create the area where we want to be so we have the fog. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be using a box trigger. So I get a box trigger like so and place it in. And what I want is that when I'm in this area, I have the fog. And again, you can have this so when you're in this area, you don't have fog. You just do the opposite of what I'm doing. But that should be very simple. So like I say, I have it as 5,000, you leave it at zero. And when we're in this, set the values the other way around. I will go more in depth into that when I'm actually doing the code. So we've got this box trigger here. So what we're gonna do is open the level blueprint. So go to blueprints, open level blueprint. And so then what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna right click and get a begin overlap. So get a begin overlap, add on actor begin overlap for the box trigger. Make sure that you actually still have the box trigger selected in the level for when you're doing this. So have it selected and then get the begin overlap and then do the same right click and get an end overlap this time add on actor end overlap like so the other actor this is going to be our character so for me that's third person so i'm going to cast to third person character again this can be first third or whatever you've named it and do that for both of these so begin and end like so then after this what we're going to do is going to get a timeline so we're going to come out of the cast and we're going to add a timeline so add timeline like so and you can name this whatever you like i'm just going to call this fog start or something like that and then that is going to go to the play from start not the play like so and we'll double click that to open it up what we're going to do is add a float track again name this whatever you like i'm just going to give it the same name of fog start the length you can set this to whatever you like so this is how long it's going to take for the fog to fully appear so i want this to take three seconds but you can make this as quick or as slow as you like this is just how long it will take in seconds then we're going to right click on the graph here and we're going to add a keyframe the first time is going to be time zero and value zero as well right click add another one this one is going to be time the end of our timeline so for me that is three with a value of one and then we can press these two buttons here to make it fit the graph then we can compile that and close the timeline like so and so then once we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to create two variables so up in the top left here we've got variables we're going to hit plus variable this one is going to be called fog off so fog off like that and make this one a float compile and we'll save this to 5000 so this is the start distance which we created earlier so if we select our exponential high fog again you can see the start distance is 5000 that's what we want this to be so i have that as 5000 and then we're going to create another variable and call this one fog on and this one we're going to compile and put the default value as zero so this is the start distance again but what we have it is when the fog is here which again is for me zero so we'll do that like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to right click and get a lerp just a normal lerp under float and put the alpha into the fog start like so so the float track we made goes into the alpha the a is going to be our fog off the b is going to be our fog on now if you want it to go from fog on to fog off so you have the fog on by default and then you want to turn it off you can do this the other way around so put fog on in a and off into b and then to actually be setting this as well so we're getting the value that we want that's what this is doing is getting the correct value now we want to also set that so what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop our exponential height fog into the level blueprint so select it in the world outliner drag and drop it into the level blueprint like so we're going to drag out of this and we're going to set start distance set the start distance coming out of component there 
and just plug that into the update like so. The value of this is going to be the return value for the LERP. And so now that should work. So what it's going to do is when we enter this box trigger, it's going to be getting the current value of the start distance and it's going to be increasing it between the off and the on or decreasing it, whichever you have it set as. So it's going to be getting the value between these two and setting it for the new one. So what we can do to disable this is just duplicate this. So we select it all and then control C, control V to copy and paste and just plug that from the bottom cast into the reverse from end this time. So now it's going to be doing it the opposite way. And that way we can then leave everything else the same making sure we plug the target into there like so. And now that should be it done. So we compile and save. And now if we test what this is looking like, we can see that we have the fog here by default, which obviously we don't want, or I didn't want anyway. And the reason for that was we didn't set the fog cutoff distance as well. So that was at zero for me, which it shouldn't have been. It should have been at 10,000, which it shouldn't actually let you go beneath anyway. It kind of just glitched out. So you might not have had the issue, but I did, but that's why it didn't work. So now if we test it again, we can see that we have no fog here, but when we go into this area, we can see that we're gonna have the fog slowly appear like so, very smoothly transitioned in, very nice. And if we leave, it's gonna then go away as well. So that works out perfectly. So again, you can obviously change this around. So you can essentially just move these here. So when you begin the overlap, it's gonna do this one. When you end the overlap, it will do this one. So I'll show you that now. So begin overlap, we'll go into reverse on the bottom one. End overlap, we're going to play from start. So obviously you'd move those around and then I compile that. And I will also just set the default value of this fog here, for the start distance to be zero. So now we have the fog here. So we'll say this is outside and over here, this is inside a building. We've gone in, the fog's gone away. So we now don't have fog inside a building. If we then leave the building, the fog is gonna come back like so. That works out perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so that we can have fog in a specific area or not have fog in a specific area. For example, if you're inside a building like over here, we're inside, the fog has gone and we leave, the fog then comes back and it smoothly transitions between having fog and not having fog instead of it just abruptly cutting to it and cutting away from it. So that works great. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.